So here we can see an example with the optic detection and optic tracking that we're going to use throughout the course. So basically here we see that we're tracking these optics around in the image frame. We keep track of them instead of just doing optic detection for every single frame. And then we will lose track in a couple of frames. Then we can actually use these trackers to keep track of all our optics from frame to frame without losing track. So this is actually really nice and it's really useful and important that we actually use optic trackers on top of our optic detection models. Hey guys, welcome to a new video. In this video here, we're going to talk about the brand new course that I've just published about optic tracking. So we're going to use the new YOLO V8 model together with some of the most popular optic trackers. We're going to take a look at the sword, Kalman filler, and also the deep sword algorithm. We're going to go through all the theory behind these trackers. So basically like sword and deep sword, they're building on top of the Kalman filler. We will go over all the theoretical part as well. We're going to dive into like how do these optic trackers act like work under the hood. Because like often you will just find like some tutorials uh, of like how to actually like, apply these optic trackers, but you will also need to know the theory and how these optic trackers work under the hood. So we'll dive into the theory about the Kalman filter, the deep sort algorithm, and also the sort algorithm. We'll go over how can we actually like, use the Kalman filter and how does the mathematical equations uh, work under the hood. So this is actually like a really nice course. We go from the theoretical part, then we go in, take a look at different trackers. We will go in, train our own custom YOLO V8 model. Then we're going to use the YOLO V8 model together with the optic trackers that we went over in the theoretical part. We're going to see how we can actually like implement these optic trackers in our own code so we can use it in our own applications and projects. So this is actually like really cool and it's really useful to know how can we apply optic trackers on top of our optic detection applications and projects. So then we're actually going to implement the deep sort and the sort algorithm, which is basically just building on top of the Kalman filter. We're going to see how the Kalman filter is implemented in code as well. So I hope to see you guys within the course. I hope you're going to learn a ton and also how these algorithms actually work under the hood. And then you can go in, apply them in your own projects and applications.